Hi guys, just want to shoot this short video um, to show you how to upgrade from a previous version of the scraper to version 1.7, which was released today, February the 22nd, 2015. If you're not using a previous version, don't worry about this video. You're not going to need it. If you have maybe a dozen, possibly two dozen items, you could probably just go with the quick start video. Uh, it's just as fast and you can do a little bit of uh, copy and paste to get your items up there into the scraper. If you have more than a couple of dozen items, this video is probably for you. It will save you a lot of time and a lot of manual effort in copying and pasting of content. Now, it is a bit techy. There are quite a few steps that need to happen and they need to happen in the right order. So you, maybe you might want to watch this a couple of times until you get the hang of what it is that we're actually doing. Why do we need to do this? It's because of the nature of the scraper. If this was an internet-based hosted solution, it would probably be quite easy just to roll out an upgrade. But it would also mean that we would know what products you are selling on eBay. We don't need to know, we don't want to know, we don't know. And the reason why we don't know is because this runs as an Excel spreadsheet from your computer. So your eBay store is confidential to you only. Okay, so in order to preserve that, that security, unfortunately, this is the step that we need to take in order to upgrade. Now, the first thing that you need to do is open the current version of the scraper that you've got. Maybe that's 1.5, it could be 1.4, it's whatever your current version is. Then you need to press scrape. Now, it's quite possible that you didn't scrape since this morning or yesterday or the day before. If that's the case, we don't know the true status of your products. You don't know if a product has gone out of stock, if the price has jumped up, or whatever. And if you were just to copy those products into the new scraper, the new scraper wouldn't know that either, wouldn't have anything to compare it to, any baseline. So what we need is that baseline now and get a true picture of where the products are at this point in time. So you're going to go through this. The speed will determine will be determined by how many products you actually have, how uh, modern your, your computer is, your internet connection, how fast it is. As you can see, this is zipping through pretty quickly here on, on my machine. 114 products out of 167. We're nearly there. I'd love to hear some feedback uh, from you guys on how you're finding the scraper. Any, you know, major wins, major successes, anything that it's uh, saved you from, uh, from any loss of money uh, that, that has prevented you from having. And also generally what the performance is like. <clears throat> Better part of 200 products scanned in less than a minute. So let's allow it to continue doing its uh, calculations here. Fine, we've got the results. So what you're going to do now is scroll up and down this listing and make sure you're happy that you've captured all of the pricing changes. Okay? If there's anything that you see here now, uh, it's, you should go ahead to make those changes on eBay. So if an item is out of stock, get it delisted on eBay. If, uh, if the price has gone up tremendously, adjust your sales price on eBay. Now is the time to do that before we continue with the rest of the, um, uh, the migration. So you can pause here if you want, come back to it. I'm now going to assume that you have done everything that you need to do. You're happy with your eBay listings. Your eBay listings are reflecting what you've just seen on the scraper and this is now a true state of where we are right now. Okay, so let's close this box. Let's go up to the top. You're going to be on cell B2 and you should also have a Windows Notepad document open. Don't do Word, don't do anything like that, just do Notepad. We're then going to scroll down. So what I've done is I started on B2 I hold down the control, the shift, the down arrow. That gets me down to the bottom of this column. 
I do a, uh, a copy, which is Control C, or you can do it the other way using your right mouse click, and I paste that into Notepad. I give myself a few spaces, say three or four spaces, and then I do the same thing here. So start at uh, D2, scroll down, do a Control C for copy, and then into Notepad, Control B, V for paste. Give yourself a few spaces. Same thing with your eBay titles. Control Shift and down, copy, and then paste them all here. Okay. Now you've got a current status. So you've got all the items that you wanted to track or not track. You've got your URLs and you've got your eBay titles. Close this. You can save it if you want. A large amount of data on the clipboard. Just say no. And open up the new version of the scraper. Okay, so what we're going to do, close that box. First thing I'm going to do is go to cell B2, go to the top of my notepad document, all the way to the top, just to the left of the S, and grab all the S's and no's. To the last letter of the last yes or no. And paste that in. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my URLs. Copy, and paste these in. Okay, you're going to get your statuses for not tracking, that's fine. You're going to get the red notifications, that's fine as well. We'll then go over to eBay title. Grab all of your titles all the way down to the bottom, copy, and paste these in. Now, save. Now, the next thing you need to do, go to your menu, open menu, have a look at your, whatever you're trading on, amazon.com or .co.uk, and press scrape Amazon. And rescrape, get it to refresh all the data. So this way, it's got uh, an absolute baseline. The same baseline that we just had on the earlier version is now being copied into this version here. When this is done, you might just want to have a quick scan and see that there are no new items that are, uh, are out of stock or have incredibly long shipping delays or are fulfilled by other merchants. You won't be able to compare prices even if the price has changed in the few minutes that you've been migrating. You won't be able to do that because the old price is on the earlier version of the scraper and the new price is on the newer one and the two of them don't talk to each other. But hopefully things don't change that quickly. And here we go, almost at the end. And then we get a finished status. So go through, just check all the items, make sure you're happy with everything, and then that's it. Congratulations, you've upgraded. Uh, you can archive the older version someplace, get it out of the way, make sure you're not referring to that anymore. Um, I would suggest you keep it, just so you have an archive copy, um, but make sure that your current version is now 1.7, and this is the one that you're going to use from today onwards. All right, guys, thanks very much. Thanks for using the scraper, and happy scraping.